here's a, a Jerusalem thorn tree. It's been in the ground about three years, and normally there would be an extensive amount of root growth out into the soil. This particular tree has only got a couple of roots that have extended out past the original root ball. If you look at the original root ball, three years later, you can still see for the most part it's uh, uh, not uh, settled into the soil. It hasn't anchored itself. And that's primarily because this tree was grown in a nursery in a pot and it became root bound. The roots hit the edge of the pot and grew around in a circle trying to find soil to escape to. And then when, it, which is normal, but when that tree or a plant like that is put into the ground, the roots need to be cut so that they can begin to grow laterally into the soil. That never occurred on this tree and these roots, many of them I've already cut, were just growing in a circle because in essence they were trained to do that in the nursery by growing in a pot. So we've cut the circling roots and left some good stable anchor roots. This one here especially. Uh, we don't really like the upward angle it's at but you can see it's the biggest root that there is. So we're going to leave it for now and then let's see in a couple years if uh, these roots that I've cut they will grow laterally get out into the soil and then if this is still a problem later on we can cut that off because these roots will have uh, taken hold into the soil. So this tree's been staked a little bit. Uh, we're just going to cover this back up, mulch it, keep the grass away from here so that uh, the, the majority of the nutrients go into the tree, not into the turf, and uh, just let nature do what she does very well. And that's uh, grow trees.